Um, I'm not going to say too much, but I just wanted to piggyback off some of the stuff that I was listening to. Um, I grew up here. I used to have like the slightest bit of pride living in this town because of diversity and like where we live, like summers and everybody would always, you know, everybody knows that summers and East Windsor are very non-diverse in any way, shape or form. So I used to like be like, Enfield's kind of all right, right? It's, it's not. Um, but I realized in the last few years, I have never had a teacher of color growing up here. Um, I went to St. Bernard's, I went to JFK, and I went to Enfield High. I graduated in 2007, and we still to this day in Enfield have, I'm going to look up a picture that I was sent. Um, in 2018, 2019, if we have 307 percent of our students being uh, students of color, we have 3.3 percent of teachers, 32.2 percent, and we have 4.5 percent of teachers in 2019 to 20 or 20, um, 33 to 33.9 percent, we have 4.7, and up to 2021, and currently, or as up to when it, this was, was 35 percent to uh, uh, students of color, so 4.8 percent. So my question, I suppose, um, is really how do we say that we strive to be inclusive when if you look at every single one of the people on this council is at least white passing if you are not a white person on this council how can we as Enfield say that we are trying to be inclusive if we do not actually act on situations when they happen while they're happening and they're happening to our kids like this happened to a 14 year old kid and this happens to 14 year old kids all the time. We just don't hear about it. It happens all the time. Every single day, there's another story. And if you're not looking for it, you won't necessarily find it. And it's really easy to stay inside this little bubble like that we, that even I was in. I've been in my whole life. I, I was raised here. I'm, I'm this little white girl. I've been raised this, I've been raised this whole way my whole life. Like I did not, I did not have a clue. I thought that I knew what I was talking about. I had no clue what I was talking about. If, if, you, if you choose to stay inside of that bubble, that is white privilege because you have that option. People don't have that option. And there's a lot of people in this town that do not have that op option any single day that they wake up. I, I, met, I talked to a family a few weeks ago at the Board of Ed meeting and they have lived here for eight years and they have no idea the difference of Hazardville to Thompsonville because they don't go outside of their house. Because they're not comfortable. Because nobody makes, nobody, it, it's not my place, it's not my place to stay, why? That's, never mind. They don't go outside of their house and they have lived here for eight years. That is just, a small piece of of the very very large puzzle that this I hope DEI committee will at least take a piece a chunk out of <laughs>